I'm in front of Homics Middle School for the STEM Alliance Science Fair, where the mathematicians, engineers, and scientists of the future are showing off their exhibits today. How can we make robots that make art? My experiment was to make um, a robot, and it was supposed to be attracted to the brightest light in the room. Um, you can either go to um, the two CAD systems that we have, Tinkercad or Rhino, where you can create your own design and make it unique. It's harder than it looks. Approximately 2,000 students, parents, and professionals assisted in celebrating the sciences last May 3rd. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And the exhibits based on these subjects were not only interactive and accessible, but most importantly, they were fun. Organizers stressed the value of exploring and learning in new ways. The cognitive skills of problem solving, creating, designing, taking something that doesn't exist and making it, those serve you across disciplines. This is the exact kind of event we need to have to encourage people and especially to encourage young women to go into these fields because historically they have not been well represented in these fields. I, I was really impressed there are a few roller coaster exhibits and so they build something that sort of is like a roller coaster but they have the mathematical calculations for speed, for momentum, for velocity. According to the Program for Student Assessments 2012 report, the U.S. ranks 36th in math and 28th in science out of 64 countries from which data was collected. Additionally, China is not only number one, but has three cities in the top 10. However, the students at this fair are working hard and seem to be proving there is hope for the future. My bristle bot here is made out of bristles and it spreads the paint from the paper. Just put the cylinder over the paint and turn it on and we will have spin art like it up. That's how you get. The exhibits even brought out the kids and the adults. I just did the uh, speed and pitching. I was the fastest in my uh, age group. And there's so many different things. The, the, the nerdy derby with the little race cars and uh, all of the different uh, projects I've seen. I, uh, just a fantastic day. I'm very impressed with what a lot of these children have done here today. It's preparing our kids for the 21st century world where, you know, it, it's uh, a very small world now. Everything's all interconnected. So you know, as Americans, we want to stay on the cutting edge of technology, and this is fostering that. From energy-efficient homes that run on solar power to interactive tutorials on the latest in Google Glass technology, the exhibits at the STEM fair show the promise of the students involved. I just set a goal for myself and I challenge myself and I think that's pretty much all that matters. This is Don Julian reporting for The Local Live, signing off.